Hey guys, um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a lot of things, um, but I'm going to try and keep this down to five minutes. Uh, one of them is turmeric. So I'm learning a lot about this turmeric, and um, I always tell people that I know that watch the rich people. They all have habits that they don't talk about, but they all do the same things, and that's why part of their success. So I noticed that a lot of people are taking turmeric, and this lady had like a gallon of turmeric, and I'm like, whoa, and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm. I, put them into pill form and I have them every day and I'm like really she's like it's amazing the things that turmeric does for your body and then she kind of like shut herself up and kept on you know we were working together so we just kept working she didn't give me any more information that's all I needed I went online I looked it up turmeric is amazing for your memory so like not that it's going to stop all memories or anything but it's going to make you know your brain function work properly it's great for your thyroid and I actually have not, not that I have a thyroid problem technically my tests are saying I don't but I have a goiter, I think I do, whatever, I'm going to try and balance it out. So I've been taking turmeric um, every day or every other day in the morning. I mix it with, um, I take Metamucil now, I'm getting older, um, with the Metamucil. Uh, it's true. Um, and that way I don't really taste it that much. Um, sometimes I mix it, like if I have sushi, I'll put it on top of the sushi as like a garnish, or I'll put it in my soups. I've been making a lot of homemade vegetable and chicken soup or whatever meat I have in the fridge I'll just cut up and then I'll put it in like a, a slow cooker with a bunch of vegetables um, corn it's one of my favorite uh, carrots potatoes sometimes beans um, and then I put the turmeric in there sometimes I'll put curry um, and then I just put a little bit of sometimes I put a little bit of, a little bit of oil sometimes I don't and uh, sea salt and that's it that's all I put in there and then it like marries all together and it's amazing. And sometimes I'll put garlic in there, but somebody told me not to put garlic in, not to eat garlic anymore because the Ayurvedic, the, the Indian Ayurveda or something like that, they don't have garlic in their diet for a reason. And they were saying that it causes bloating and problems, but there's a lot of things that garlic does that's good. So I'm kind of like figuring that out. Um, one thing to really remember and realize is that everybody's body's different. So, and we're all from different backgrounds and different ethnicities and different cultures, and therefore our bodies react to things differently. Some people can't take dairy, some people can't take spices, some people can't take garlic, some people are, you know? So, just because somebody tells you like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do, doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So the whole point of this journey is to discover what works for you and your body, you know? And um, I think the next thing I'm going to try now is this gluten-free things. So, oh, this is important. So I did the juicing, right? I think I should make another video for that. I'm going to do another video for that. Um, but, you know, look out for the other video. Uh, but turmeric, it's amazing the properties that it has. I bought mine from Vitacost. I think it was like 8 or $15 or something like that. I, I bought a bunch of stuff from there. That's why it's like a big range because I can't remember. For a one pound bag of organic turmeric. And what happens is I went to the store, it's the supermarket, and I bought the turmeric spice from La Flor, right? And it was like this bright orange. But when I bought the turmeric that was organic from Vitacost, it was a very dark, dark orange. Almost like a, it was just a, like a burnt orange almost. And it tasted different. So I feel like that was a better quality. I feel like almost the floor was just like for, for seasoning, for, for food. And the other one was really more for your consumption. Like they knew what we were going to use a turmeric for. Um, the best thing to do is actually use real turmeric and put it in your juices and stuff like that if you can get it, which I have to actually go to 74th Street and get. The joy of living in uh, New York is that there's so many cultures and so many things are imported from all these different countries that you actually have access to them. You just have to know where to go. So um, I'll probably be making more videos on turmeric and how it's working. Um, it also helps balance out your, your chemical levels and it's a wonder drug. Like look it up everybody, turmeric, T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C. Some people say it's turmeric, some people say it's turmeric, I don't care. But look it up, I'm telling you right now, if you work around a lot of wealthy people, watch what they do. There was a lady I worked with, oh my god, I thought it was so strange, she was, um, I can't tell you. But her and her family every spring would make a three-tier uh, tray and they would put um, grass seeds on the tray in soil and the grass would grow. And then around the grass they tied like a ribbon. Um, that went around it and they made like these three little bows and it was like, I'm like what is this this is magic like, you know I didn't say anything but the, and if it didn't grow right they started all over again so I think it was like an offering or something it, it, it has something to do with that culture and that religion I'm not gonna go into it but you know I'm still gonna have to look that up because I, I did that just popped into my head but they do some things and always have silver in the house 
real solid silver, not silver plated stuff. It absorbs a lot of negativity um, and it actually brings money in. Talk to you later.